All right. All right, let's see here. So, I'm getting this spawn put together here. Atmos sensors and electrolyzers. Atmos sensors are under automation. Yep. There, there, there. And I believe insulated tiles are here. How far over? Do they go right above the Atmos sensors? They do. Okay. So to right there. Okay, and then we need the electrolyzers themselves. Which are here and here. We will need to vacuum all this out, I believe, too. My chair moved by itself when I was gone, not gonna lie. Chair is, uh... Chair is a person, okay? It's not a thing, it's a person. Chair will do what needs to be done. Chair will stream while I am AFK. That's what chair does. Chair is a sentient being. <laughs> now let's get up under here. All right. Uh, we will have to jumpstart this thing eventually. Uh, I need to get piping and wiring in here. And I believe... Cherry the chair. Cherry the chair. That's the right. That's right. Right, let's get our automation wires. That'll be the easiest thing. So it's just this guy to this guy and this guy to... I think it's just for the pumps that you need those going. Is that right? I think so. I'm probably going to have to go to the tutorial thing and scan scan through uh, the piping and the wiring. Got the piping right here. So this is this is where the oxygen goes right here. So the uh, these pipes will go out to wherever you want the oxygen to go. Oops, cancel that. And I probably need these to be insulated gas pipes. I think. These will go out, and then I'm going to have them go through here to get some chill, pick up some chill, get cool, boys. All right, and then this guy's going to pump the hydrogen up through there, and then the, the overflow goes, this will actually um, power the thing. Okay, so that's going to be... Regular gas pipe going up. Uh, okay, there's a bridge right before that. How does that work again? Oh, the bridge goes over it. I wonder if that's for getting it set up. Because right now it's bypassing the tank. This might be to... I think that might have been how it was set up to ventilate it. Or to uh, clear out the tank first. I'm going to put a pipe there, but we're not going to connect it yet. And I think we uh, want actually a secondary hydrogen generator on the top to burn off excess power. Or burn off excess hydrogen. I think I'd want the O2 to be bridged since the hydrogen is cooling the unit. O2 to be bridged. I don't know what you mean by that, sorry. What kind of pipes? Does he just use regular pipes for this? Because this right here is to cool this stuff down. I think it's just normal pipes and not radiant pipes or anything. I think it's just straight up and down and across. Yeah. So like this. And actually, I don't think I need to do a bridge here because he bridged it to get the O2 out. If I just take the O2 out this way, I don't think I need to do all that. I think I'm just good to do this. Get even a little bit more cooling out of it. Okay. 
I believe, like I said, that I'm going to need a second hydrogen generator over here to burn off excess. Printables, what do we got? Um, we're looking for somebody who can dig and build. None of you can really dig and build, so cure tablets, why not? Yeah, this snake is to... The hydrogen that comes out is really good for cooling, so it's going to help keep this stuff from overheating. And actually, this hydrogen generator should be made of gold. So should the battery. The battery should be made of gold. Power transformer should be made of gold. It's less likely to overheat if it's gold amalgam. It has a higher melting point. Hey, Geoff, thank you for the Twitch Prime, the two months, my friend. Appreciate that. It's not much. It is absolutely amazing and helpful and lovely. Thank you for that, my friend. Appreciate that. All right. Um... All right, so deconstructed that thing. So I'm going to make the power transformer out of gold. Out of pure gold. Deconstruct the smart battery. Okay. I'm going to need to look at the other wiring next. Uh, so that's the piping. That's going to pipe over to this to get that all cooled down. This is overpressurized. Okay, good. Um, I want to dig down deeper with this so we have a bigger tank, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to overflow anymore. So now that I know the height that needs to be, I need to go up a couple more spaces on this guy too so it doesn't overflow. This one I think is good. So let me actually fix this really quickly. It should be the height of that. That should be where it is. And then across like that. I believe like that should work, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And deconstruct that. That should let me go in there. Um, I need a ladder to go down here, actually. That should allow us to get access to all this stuff, I think. If I do that, that should make us be able to get in there, no problem. Although we will need to dig all that stuff out, so that should get us access to that. Okay. I want to mop up all that after they're done with that, just in case there's any other water types in there. Oh, God. Yep. Priority nine. Those guys. Otherwise, you're stuck in there. Nisbet's going to be frozen, not being able to get out. God, priority nine on the digging here, too. Okay. <laughs> you stupid duplicates. Why do you always trap yourselves in the worst stupid way possible? Because you're duplicates, that's why. God, if she pees in there... Okay, deconstruct this. She can get out if she just deconstructs that. If she pees in there, it's going to be a big old problem. Okay, there we go. That'll fix it until we get this done. Yes, this will need to be vacuumed out and stuff. I need to get all the wiring done first, but yes. But yes, it absolutely does. It's too cold. The germs of the people would die quickly. Yeah, okay. That, you're right. You're right. I would, I would still have to mop up the pee, but you're right. It wouldn't cause any issues with germs or anything because of how cold it is. So that's not going to... Not gonna, not going to kill us, thankfully. Uh, will they be able to jump up there? I think they will. Okay, now that they've got that ladder, I think they can rebuild this and be fine. It would still be a mess, though. That's right. It'd be a mess. <laughs> Is that Plunder Pig? Okay. All right, so I need to get uh, wiring. Uh, crap, it deconstructed a pipe in here, didn't it? Yes, it did. All right, and we need power. That was the uh, battery, smart battery out of gold. 
Ah, oh, I don't have gold for that. I need to crush up some more gold. Let me do 10 of this. Uh, 15 of that. Priority of 7. Mop up all this. This water keeps probably overflowing from there. All these random pieces of water. Pete, you piece of water, you! Yeah, how are we doing on food? We're still not going up in the food department. I think I have too many bottomless stomach duplicates. What is Shogi doing over there? Smelling the flowers, eh? Seven of eight. We got... We got a good amount of ranching going here. We just need them to actually get ahead in the food situation. Clearly, I don't have a cat. Well, ooh, look, that's done. Is this all moppable? That is all moppable. Mop it all up. Beautiful. We're gonna be just about cleaned up in here. Be great. Till the cat gets wet, then you see their true form. Oh, oh, you're talking about. Dupes are like putting five-year-old cats to work. They poop and pee everywhere and don't do what they're told. Okay, I missed that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, I might be having a problem with oxygen generation right now. Um, no, I think we'll be okay until we get this bomb up. I think we're okay. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, did I not tell you to build it back? Oh, I did because I didn't have a uh, gold amalgam. Do I have enough gold amalgam now? Hopefully when they do this next one, they will. Come on, gold amalgam. There it is. <coughs> All right. Wow, that's weird. There it is. Okay. There's that. The goofy cat used the closed drawer as a litter box instead of the litter box we gave her. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get the power overlay, because I think we're good on the gas overlay. Where's the power overlay? What that looks like. Uh, let's see here. Let me show the power setup. That's the... Yeah, that's when he was uh, just clearing it out to start. There's a certain way the, pow the power's all plugged in. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Where's the power thing? The power guy, and you show your power setup. Oh, there, I think I saw it. Okay, there it is. So, that guy, yeah, just regular power wires looks like is all it needs. Okay. Nothing crazy with the power situation doesn't look like. So, that. 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 And that. Is that right? I think that's right. Okay. Um, is there automation on it, too? There's the, like, the full. I think that's a full Rodriguez, which I don't think I need that yet. Yeah, so I think, I think this will be just about what I need to do. Do I need to automate the battery? I don't think I need this uh, this battery. Uh, actually, I probably do need to automate that somehow. Uh, it's probably this. Maybe. Not sure. Uh, the Atmos sensor. These I'm going to need to remember these numbers, but for now what I need to do is get this plugged in. Jump started by putting this on our main line here. So we can vacuum it all out. I'm gonna put a power line there and I'll be able to connect that when we need to. 
Okay, did this all get fixed? That looks all good. Cancel that sweeping. I think I think this looks pretty good. Ooh, look at that. Look at all that clean oxygen, man. Once this all gets mopped up, we'll be completely clean. That'll be great. Anything else need to mop? That looks good. Debris into storage. Very nice. I'll clean up all that junk after we get that last little bit done. Okay. Uh, okay, we got some meat. Calories. I have too many bottomless stomach dupes, man. Alright, so this is where we're going to teleport. Teleport transmitter. So, if I'm going to want to get in there, I'm going to want to dig down in there without flooding this thing. So, let me prepare for that. When we finally get a digger slash... Um... Builder to send over there. I want to be able to get in there pretty quickly. Okay, well, we almost got this bomb going. Almost. All right, power lines are plugged in. Looks good. Um, I want. Do I need to get in here anymore? I need to set these Atmos sensors. What are the Atmos sensors set set to? Let me just mute this as I play it over here. Where does he show the Atmos sensors? Does he... Actually, it might be in the description. Mm. Hey, what's up, Nietzsche? Just needed to mouse over the sensors here. Does anybody remember what the Atmos sensors are set to on the... The H2 and the O2 Atmos sensors are set differently, and I can't remember which is which. Oh, he just moused over it. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Show me the Atmos sensors. I think he has to click on it, though. It's a 1 to 3 ratio. I think it's something like 400 and 600, but I just I can't remember. Come on. Come on. Usually there's a download where I can just download it, but I should be able to figure it out. 380-ish on the O2 side. Well, let me um, let me just go ahead and vacuum it out now. So let me plug this in. Uh, it doesn't have anywhere to go currently. Okay, the bridge. So what we want to do is have it... Go there and go there. Because the goal is, is to vacuum it out first. Uh, should be an insulated gas pipe. Um, God, yeah, I can't remember what it is. All right, while, they, while they're getting that set up to vacuum it out, let me see if I can find it. it. Might be earlier in this part of the video when he's building it here. Electrolyzer. Come on, show the Atmos sensor. Show the Atmos sensor. You can do it. It keeps like mousing over it barely, but not actually clicking on it. Come on, come on, where is it? Hey, what's up, Bacon Ninja? All right. Currently, what I don't want is I don't want anyone coming in here, so nobody's allowed in right now. Oh, but you know what? There's no water. That's kind of an important part of this. I need actual water, so whoopsie. Uh, let's get water going first. 
above 250 and O2 is above 450. 250 and 450. There, copy, paste. Okay. All right. So um, I can deconstruct these guys. I need to get a pump in here. We're going to use this water right here. And uh, we already got some pipes we can use right here. We can filter, we'll deconstruct. We'll use these, use these pipes right here. And we're going to put a uh, desalinator right over here. We basically all cleaned up here. Pretty much all cleaned up here. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Okay. Uh, not a desalinator, a water sieve. I want to put it right where that thing is. Okay. Power that guy. Uh, guides not included. Spalm 3KGS. What? There. Deconstruct those. Deconstruct those for now. There. Okay. Refinement, water sieve. There we go. This. 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 I think they can reach all that. Except that I have to allow them in again, which is going to mean these pumps are going to turn on, but that's, that's fine. And I think we can even power this off of this grid, too, if we need to. Oh, god damn it. Stupid save thing always messes stuff up. Okay, thankfully we didn't mess anything up there. And I DEI unplugged something. Did I, or is it power in the entire base? Uh... What is that? Oh, yep, yep. Deconstructed everything because of it saving in the middle of me. Oh, I hate that bug, man. When autosave happens and you're dragging something, it drags over the entire screen. That's a really, really annoying bug. Oh, that drives me crazy. It happens all the time, too, and I don't know how to stop that. All right, hopefully I can catch everything here. They immediately freaking deconstructed all that reload no i'm not going to reload i don't think i don't think it broke anything important there's just probably metal down at the bottom of this thing now from all the stuff they just deconstructed uh, i never powered that apparently ah <sighs> jesus man there's a save mod that removes most of that problem okay i might need to download that because that drives me crazy when it does that. It happens all the time, too. Changes the file format of the save so there's no going back. That's a little sketchy. Okay. Uh, okay. Liquid pipes. There. Okay. Dupa stuck in his ladder. Can wait. Deconstruct main power line now. I know, right? <laughs> we will immediately do it. I have printables available. All right. Looking for a constructor slash digger. Digger researcher. That person's pretty good. Uh, suit wearing, digging, researching. One of these two could maybe do it. Um, he doesn't have building, but he does have digging and strength. I think I might take Devin here. The artist might be the one. Who's the artist? Buff or decor morale? Are you talking about this person? Uh, 
I honestly don't know that I want to print them right now because I want to get this spawn set up before I do this. The Atmos sensor settings are at the very end of the video. Oh, did you find it, Talon? If I don't pick one, this will just stay here, right? You don't like biohazardous, decrease germ resistance. That doesn't bug me. I think I'm going to hold off on doing it right now, though, because I want to get this spawn done before I do anything else. It resets at the end of the cycle. Oh, does it? All right. Well, then, uh, if I think one of these are going to work, then 750 for the hydrogen, 450 for both the auction. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> My problem with this person is they don't really have much in the way of digging or anything. I have plus one and a green thumb that doesn't matter. Um... I think I'm going to take this guy. Devin, and I'm not going to send him over immediately. Alright, where's my power? Can we get this fixed, please? Why is it still not powered? Is everything depowered right now? Battery's full. What's going on with my power, man? I must... Oh, God. It deconstructed the power lines to the actual power generators is what happened. God damn it. That's so stupid. Stupid freaking bug, man. All right. So let me fix these numbers while they do that. Ox or hydrogen is 750, you said. And oxygen is 450. Okay. Okay, 450 was correct. We had the 450 as the uh, hydrogen is off. Unpermitted food. Meal lice. Oh, it's because it's not powered, man. It can make... God, we've run out of food so much. Uh, you know what? Let's crack some eggs. What do we got? Eggs I don't care about. We have two of those, seven of those, 21 of those. Let me do like three of the stone hatchling eggs. That'll make them make some omelets. Okay, that should be powered, right? Powered again, okay. God, what a stupid effing bug that is. It's so frustrating. Okay, here we got water. Let's make sure the water's looking good. You are needing sand before you can start filter. I need this to be a higher priority because that's your oxygen. Okay. Well, it will be your oxygen. Clean water going in. Although I don't... Uh, if this is all oxygen, this actually should be good to start running. Let me see. Yeah. All oxygen and hydrogen. That looks good. I'm going to make it so that nobody can go in anymore. Okay. Because what we want to avoid is pipes. We don't want any oxygen going into here, so we need this to be clear hydrogen before we get this going. Before it balances out. This one. Okay. What we need is... Um, I think I need to change the set. I need this to be running at all times. This needs to be cleared completely, I think, is the issue right now. I need this to go non-stop. I need to get rid of this oxygen. Wait, is it supposed to be above or below? It's above 750, right? Needs to be above 250 or 750. Talon says it's 750 for the hydrogen. 450 for the oxygen, which is what I have. This one is the one where Talon said it's 750 for hydrogen. Is it supposed to be a different number? Is it supposed to be 250? Let's 
750 above is what the video says. Okay. Oh, oh. It's almost there. Uh, why are the electrolyzers not running all the time? Is it overpressure? Yeah, the max gas pressure. I think, I think I need this to be a zero right now. I need this to pump all the time. Oh, I already vacuumed it entirely first one time. I think to prime it, I need both O2 and H2 and full blast for short moments. How do I do that? Do I need to have all my atmosphere sensors down so they're just all going uh, above? Well, these weren't even above. These these were messed up. That might be part of the problem too. So this is above. What is it? 450. Oh, or is it 250 down here? <laughs> I'm getting a couple different numbers. Uh, lower Sir Thunder says above 450. I think that's right. This one above seven. I want this to be on until it gets this auction out, which it almost has it. Come on, it's almost out. Get out. Get out, oxygen. Why are you not pumping? Pipe blocked. Why is the pipe blocked? Is it overpressurized up here or something? Oh, oh, are we there? We're there. Okay, beautiful. Nope. Cancel. What did I just do? Cancel. Above 750. There we go. It's all hydrogen in there. That should be good, right? Now it just needs to build up the pressure. And I can disconnect. I can deconstruct the bridge. Come on. Gas bridge deconstruct, and I can hook up that, so it's going into there. Okay, and then we can get this guy. Crap, oh, that should be insulated pipes. And what we want to do is we want to run it through some... I think you can use just like granite regular pipes to get some cooling down going on here. We'll see how much cooling that will pick up. And I'm going to lead to a vent right now to I, so I can just kind of test it, see what the temperature is going to be at. Okay, all right. Currently this is not getting hydrogen. Let me see here. It's currently not getting hydrogen because I think this is overflowing and the hydrogen is not getting or not enough not enough pressure yet. Yeah, let me let them get these pipes going. It's definitely not self-powered until we get hydrogen flowing through here. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these other oxygen makers. Because we want the pressure to go down for this stuff. So this guy deconstruct. This guy deconstruct. So we're about to have better self-sustainable oxygen production. Okay, all right. One thing I worry about is the auction getting too cold, but I don't think that'll be an issue because auction has to get stupidly cold for it to actually uh, like freeze or anything like that. Because you know, making liquid auction is so so challenging. Oh, do we actually get power in here yet? I think it gave us a little bit of power. Oh, I think we're starting to get some hydrogen. 
Okay, yeah, that thing's going. I didn't set the automation on this. Let's do um, 80 and 50, something like that. I think we'll be fine. All right, so that thing's powered. I think I can disconnect this from our main power grid and have this self-sustaining. And then what I want to have to do is have excess power from this go on to our power grid. So that excess power is, does that, as long as we're keeping this powered. All right, finish these, finish these pipes, please. Finish these pipes. I need, I need this thing to be running here. It doesn't run out of power. Almost GG cookie time. Once once we get this thing actually going, then it'll be GG cookie time. Looks pretty good so far, but I need them to finish these damn pipes. Finish the pipes. Who's working? Somebody's supposed to be working right now, right? Come on, duplicates. Come on. Almost there. Come on. There it goes. Now it's flowing. All right. Let's see. Let's see. It comes out temperature-wise at 28C or so. Going through here. Whew. Hitting about 10C. Okay. That gets pretty darn cold. Uh, hopefully that won't be too cold. But it's very cool water. <laughs> um, do I want to insulate it after that? I probably will insulate it at least part of the way. Uh, actually, no, I want it to go down to our base this way. We'll insulate it down to about, about here, and then we'll let it start being regular gas pipes. And let's start. Venting it out like here. That'll be the start. We'll get more vent vents for now. That'll be good. So is this thing running? I think this is. I think this thing is running. The hydrant coming. Beautiful. And I think what you do because we want to prioritize it going in there. But if it doesn't go in there, we want it to then go over here. I need this vent to not be there. The overflow is going to go into here. And then that will give us excess power that we'll put onto our grid. Which I will do like this. I need a bridge. Go here. I'm going to deconstruct this guy. And I think these guys are pretty much done. Nope, I need to deconstruct that uh, airflow tile. And there we go. That'll plug onto our main power grid. And that'll give us some supplementary power. Oh, let me wait till that bridge is done before I do that. Press X to remove duplicate skeletons. Okay. Pressure tool still too high. Yeah. We um, currently are not using up enough oxygen for this thing to run all the time, I don't think. Um, let's see. I think we have plenty of algae. Let's get balm lily. Sure. Why not? Barbecue 4,000. Okay, all right. We are slowly, slowly getting this stuff. Uh, polluted ice storage not available. Did I fill up all the... I did. I filled up all the um, liquefiable storage already. Let's put that back in there. Let's get some more in there. I don't want that to be doing anything any there anymore. Okay. Okay. 
construct that and that. Pretty much cleared up most of the polluted auction, which is great. Keep that guy. Okay. All right, we just need all these pipes to be done. How, 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 2,000 grams there, 1,000 down here. Yeah, so there's less oxygen down here, but that's what we're going to be filtering down here soon. Let me get, I want them to get this, these pipings done. Pipings get done. Be done, pipings, please. I honestly need more duplicates, but my food situation's kind of preventing me from getting more duplicates. Just don't have enough food. Okay. <laughs> Must have more meat. Cookie time now? Almost. When I finish these pipes and I see auction flowing into my base, then it'll be cookie time. <laughs> Almost. Almost. I just need to finish these pipes and I think, I think that will be GG cookie time. With how many... All right. Hey, I just saw something turn to meat there. I think we can finally get rid of the regular hatches in here. So we only have stone hatches. So what I'm going to do is turn off the sedimentary rock in there. Going to allow only granite. And we're going to say no longer allow hatches and hatchlings. How are we doing on granite, since that's what we're feeding so many of them, by the way? 66 tons. Okay. We need cookies. Almost there. Almost there. Like Two more frickin' pipes. If we do it, we'll have it. Oh, <laughs> he started and was like, nah, it's lunchtime. Come on. Come on, for the love of God. Just please finish this. Nine. Priority nine. There it is. There it's floating. Disconnected from there. All right. So this should start giving us oxygen here. And I just need to add more pipes. But that means this should be flowing pretty steadily. And this thing should... As soon as the auction comes out of there, we're saying GG cookie time. GG cookie time! We have a self-powered oxygen maker. Be a beautiful. Um, now, I can get rid of this little pump thing because we just pulled the oxygen off of there for the oxygen masks here. If you like it, then you better All right, put some so. Bits in it. If you like it, then you better put some bits in it. And 300 bits from Nietzsche, yay! <laughs> And this is, that's the natural gas thing, so I need to not run into that. Um, okay. So what we'll do is... This... Gas bridge... To there. Uh, we definitely want oxygen going into, like, their eating and sleeping chambers, uh, which are a little full, but... there and maybe I get rid of one plant here deconstruct one there and one there okay there gas bridge and we should have very cool oxygen coming down here what's the temperature on this stuff 2c it's it's pretty cool it comes out at minus 7 once we stop insulating it, and then here it starts warming up and gets to 
about 6C when it starts coming out here. You can have a full Rodriguez for 30 dupes in a colony of 10 and still get that warning about not enough oxygen. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it says that a lot in this game. All right, that should be good. As we are making oxygen full time. Hydrant looks good. Um, I want the overflow to go to there. Will that work? I think that'll do half and half. I think what I want... Whoops, damn it. If I have a bridge, it'll go to the bridge second after that, right? This does work for overflow? Oh, it is. It's not going past there until this is full. Okay, that actually does work. Okay, perfect. I thought it would go half and half, but that's that's good. And this will run, this will just eat up all the extra hydrogen and add that to our power um, thing. Yeah, so auction's coming out 27 to 31C, goes through here, gets chilled down to about negative 11, negative 16. And then chills up to some nice chilly temperatures. Hopefully nobody get get frostbite from that. Pipes always prioritize going into something rather than keeping going in a pipe. Perfect. All right, so we're looking good on everything except food. But um, hopefully... Um, hopefully if I send the one guy over... Uh, let's do that. I'm going to send a guy over. We're going to finally go to the other. I think we're pretty much self-sustainable here. Only issue I'll, I'm a little worried about is power. Can I make... Maybe I can get some... Uh, I don't have uh, solar panels yet. Is there any other power generation I can do here? I think my coal generators will be able to keep me going, hopefully. Maybe I actually even automate the coal uh, being supplied, because I feel like these are not... Why, why are you idle? They're all plugged in, right? Okay, it's just this one going. Food and art. It's true. We are missing art, too. I don't... Oh, man, there's a lot of carbon dioxide down here. Uh, is not much oxygen getting down here. I feel like almost all the oxygen's maybe going up here. One second. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is cut off this one. I want this... I want the option to get further down into our base here. Oh, you know what? I think this one is missing an uh, automation wire. You're exactly right. You are exactly right. That is the issue. It's just running all the time. I copied the settings, but I didn't put the automation wire. It's my bad. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about decor yet, I don't think. It's resources I'm more worried about. Okay, and it does say they're idle, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a big digging project, I think. While I send over what's-his-face. So, where can we dig? Where can we dig? Uh, maybe we start just digging out all of this stuff over here. Um, and then send over our new guy. Do I care about releasing a bunch of chlorine? I probably do care about that. I'm going to just start a big old coring out project while we send our other guy over to the other place. Other guy over to the other place. And uh, see if we can get... I think we need that... The new... Um... The new uh, asteroid to get. Um, God, I can't talk and work at the same time. Jesus. To get uh, stuff. Oil. Petroleum. That's what I'm trying to say. Words. They're hard, man. They're hard. That is not what I meant to do. Talking and working are not my strong suits. Three, four. 
All right, there's a big digging project. Now, uh, I want to get, I want to sign. Who is the new guy? The guy who I have not given any skills to. Oh, May, by the way, can now do ranching. There we go. Ranching. Help with ranching. Who was the new guy? No hat. Devin. Devin, no hat, man. So we're going to assign Devin to this place, which means we need to get down into there. Which means if I do uh, this. I don't want to spill a bunch of junk in there, so let me put tiles here first. I'm going to priority nine these guys. We need to do the thing and get the stuff. That's exactly right. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> do I know what I'm talking about? No clue. Uh, sure, sweet Alara. Sure. Hopefully with a second rancher, that will speed up what's going on here. I don't know. Uh, where's the regular hatch here? Hatch. Attack. Attack. Alright, so turn those hatches into food. They should turn into meat, right? Attack the hatch. Attack the hatch. This should be giving us meat, right? Should be doing that, yeah. Is that hatch meat? It just hasn't turned into meat yet? I think there's still a hatch there. There it is. Attack. We want only stone hatches in all these things now. Den is also going to steal an auction mask while going there, FYI. That's true, but we should have extras. I made three extra. Uh, damn it. I was about that. I don't want to do that. Mop up this stuff. There's a little bit of crude oil on the ground in there. That's random. Must have been an animal that releases crude oil or something. Alright, cool. I think we've gotten all the regular hatches out. Now we should have barbecue from what those guys we killed. Perfect. Okay, looks good. So I think... I think we're safe to leave this place. Now we got oxygen. Safe to kind of leave it unattended while we work on the new new place over here. Um, wait, priority nine this stuff. There's always some crude oil on top of teleports. Oh, okay, that's always a thing, huh? Got it. interesting. Well, this is off gassing now because. It's no longer underwater. I'll copy those settings to there and then take that stuff out in a bit. Yes, I know. They're long commutes everywhere. Everything's a long commute. It's a rough life. You know what? I do not have beds. I believe I have no beds for a couple of my people, don't I? I have 10 dupes and I have 8 beds. That was a mistake. One of these guys is about to go away, but I better get beds for him, though. Uh, where can I fit another set of beds? It's chlorine out. They're actually sleeping in... Barely breathable oxygen here because the oxygen is not quite getting all the way here. So what I'm gonna do Ventilation is I'm gonna Cut this off. So basically all the oxygen is going down here for right now That will help oxygenate from the bottom up I think will be helpful Okay. How big is this room? 16 wide. 
Pokemon. Okay, I'm just gonna release this chlorine. How badly is that gonna mess up my stuff? This carbon skimmer is not working because okay, there's auction there. I think I think I'm okay to do this. Not that. I think I'm okay to release a little bit of carbon dioxide here. Famous last words, probably, but. Place more airflow tiles, you think? Um, maybe between the floors? Move coal generators to the bottom floor, too? Could do that. Oh, you know what? That's probably the best place to put them is below these guys. I'm just going to do that. I don't want to move my entire power generation. This is not actually what I want to... Uh, where I want these to permanently be. I don't even want to be using coal power generation that much, but that's just kind of what we have right now. All right, let me get another uh, bedroom set up, and then we'll be good to send what's-his-face over. Okay, furniture. Four cots to start. Couple hanging pots. And a couple more um, mess tables. Just fill the room. How's the duplicate graveyard? I mean, colony going so far? <laughs> no graves, okay? No graves. It's perfectly balanced as all things should be. Do I have two people on the default one? No, only Devin, because he's the one I'm going to be moving over. I just make coal, so might as well burn it since we're not making those ceramic. That's true. We are getting coal from... That's another reason why hatch farming is so good. We actually have... As long as we have granite, we have power from the hatches so that's true all right good this will no longer leak about time to send Devin over all right priority nine all right I think I'm good to kind of leave this colony to be by itself for a while because that's what I'm gonna do is we're gonna send Devin over there, and he's going to be the one who does his thing. I'm going to make a couple more masks just in case. Let me make three more masks. If he's going to steal a mask, we're going to want to have extra to place these. Seems like people are waiting for Rand to sacrifice duplicates for, for progress. <laughs> oh, he's really having a good time right there. You guys are glittery stuff. Okay, there he goes. Devin's in. All right, we're saving it before we do this because I've never done this before. And he does have a mask. Since he has a mask, I probably need to re-deliver a mask, right? On deliver. I'm just going to hit deliver on all of them. That should maybe have make sure we have extra. All right, Devin, you ready? He looks scared. I'm sure it won't hurt too bad. Hey, hey, what's happening? Hey! And kill him. Put him in the mail. Ship him over. All right. We have Devin in a new place. Um, I think we can un unequip your suits there. All right, we're going slow. You, there is a person you can unlock, but I'm afraid to do that. That is a lot of salt water right on top of your head. Oh, but there's power right there. Let's go immediately. Oh, you don't have super hard digging. So we can't get power unless we teach you super hard digging. There's just water everywhere. Goodness. Um, wow, there's water everywhere. Cobalt. Okay, let me dig down into this. Okay, set, uh, you have some sedimentary rock. Is this a classic size asteroid or a spaced out size one? Uh, this one looks smaller to me. 
I think the first one maybe was classic size, but I think this one was smaller. All right, we got uh, we got poke shells in this area. And let's dig out some sedimentary rock as you go down so that you can get access to more stuff. There is uh, glass here, so if I deconstructed the glass, I could um, do something with that. Is there any sl slime lung here? Okay, there's polluted water, but it doesn't look like I have to worry about slime lung, so that's nice. It's crazy that there's just giant boatloads of water right on top of us as soon as we get here. So there's... Uh, we're going to have to worry about running out of oxygen and food. We start with... 17 kilograms of nutrient bars. How much do they eat a day? Uh, I forget how much they eat a day. Yeah, and this is the teleport to go back. And this has a cooldown, I think. If I go back to my home world, recharging 4%. So it's going to take a while before we can send anybody back over there to help them. Do beats a thousand K calories if they're normal. Okay. And I think he is normal on that front. All right. There's polluted dirt all over the place. This is where we can send stuff back. So what's here that we would want to send back? The main thing I think would actually be oil. Let's immediate, let's first thing get access to that. This will allow us to send stuff back, at least. We will need to get power for it. Is there a... There's a coal generator over here. I need to get super hard digging on him. Uh, I haven't given him any skills yet. He's only got one skill point. I'm going to give him regular hard digging right now. Maybe build a toilet. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm just going to throw... Bed in a toilet's kind of important. Um, morale is going to be an issue if I don't give him like special rooms. So what if I just do outhouse? Here. Bed here and um, mess table here. At least he has furniture there. So let's actually make this nine uh, and i don't think i have you on any priorities right devon yeah they're all the same so if i just set something to nine you should do it a party line phone can be used by one duplicate to chat with the cells or themselves or with other duplicates in different locations wow okay <laughs> interesting what is this thing a plug slug Dynamic creatures that generate electrical power during the night. Their power can be harnessed by leaving exposed wire near areas where they like to sleep. Oh. All right. An animal that makes power. That's pretty crazy. Got Paku over here. All right. Does he immediately go use it? No, I think he puts dirt in there so he can use it, actually, right? Yeah. Okay. So you have a usable outhouse now. Very nice. Make power and farts hydrogen. They fart hydrogen. Cool. All right, so we got a we got a a thing there. Um, a spout or something of some sort. All this polluted dirt is probably going to make polluted oxygen. Um, I need super hard digging. That's probably the next skill point I need to get a super hard digging. Did I make, did th either of these become rooms? No, I think I'm going to actually make rooms as we dig this out. I want this water to kind of drain out of here. So I'm going to build down to here, then drain the water so I can make a room, a couple rooms for him. Okay, I think we can speed this up now. Since it's one guy doing all the work. Devin's that guy going, man, I feel like I'm the only one who ever does anything around here. Okay, there's already a kitchen set up, too. So there are a couple things we can... It's like almost like there was a pre-built base here or something.
cobalt ore is, I think, similar to, like, copper and stuff. I believe. Is he on his normal schedule? Yes, he is. He's on downtime. Eating food. Ah, he didn't make his mess table. Okay, well, while he's sleeping, we'll go back to our other place. Just to check. Make sure everything's okay. Oh, he got a skill point. Nice. I can maybe get super hard digging, but I want to make sure his morale's good first. Chlorine. Okay, I need this chlorine to drain out of here, so we're going to do this. Okay. 50,000 calories. Hey, our barbecue's going up. Look at that, man. Food going up. You love to see it. Okay, I actually could print another person over there, right? If I were to build... A mini pod, I could actually print another person over here. Do I want to... I think I want to at least be able to have that option, so... I don't think this needs power or anything, so what I'm going to have him do is not that. Just get a mini pod set up in here. You send your best digger on a new plant, then send them back to cool down when trees hit, when stress hits them, and then back to do more stuff like loop de loop. Gotcha. All right, we're going to make this thing, though. Then I could print him more help if uh, need, or print food, which might be what we need to do since I have no way to make food here yet. All right, activate. Press the button. Oh, come on. Come on, work. Did you try turning it off? Turning it on back again. Hey, it worked. All right. Choose a blueprint. Um... So I could send a second person here. Uh, allergic reaction to floral scent. Is there floral stuff here? Oh, you know what? I don't have a I don't have a clean hand cleaning station. Yeah, I need to make an actual bathroom. Okay, it doesn't look like there's floral stuff here. Uh, was there just food available? I saw it was hatchlings. I don't I don't think I have the ability to get hatch ranching started here, honestly. I think, I think I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to get this guy. He's going to help me. He's got strength. So uh, I'm going to have one guy be priority digger, one guy be priority builder. So I'm going to have Devin dig, you build. And you can supply as well. Just kill the things for meat. Eh, I would rather get more help here, honestly. If I can get stuff built here quicker... I think, I think that's worth. And I think, do we have super duper hard digging on Devin now? Or super hard digging. Yes, we do. Perfect. We can go dig that stuff. And now we will have access to this power if we need to. Can I deconstruct that? Yes, I can. Cool. So I can get access to this coal power generator. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is I want to drain all this water out of here. So that I can make beds and a real outhouse down here. That's what I want to do. So. How do I want to do that? I think I want to dig down to here. And dig all this out. What the hell is that? Bog bucket. Okay, interesting. All right. Well, having two uh, duplicates here, I think, is going to help speed up this process, which is great. Okay, I wonder if we have any coal on this planet. Do we have coal? Or do I have to ship them coal? Polluted dirt for days. I think we might not actually have coal on this planet, do we? Might have to send them the coal for them to actually be able to use it. Oh, uh, The coal is the pug slugs. 
Do you mean that the fact that they just... So they eat, they eat ore, and they excrete hydrogen. You just mean they're actual, actually a source of power is what you mean, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna dig across here and, and dig all this stuff out. I'm gonna start digging up. No wonder whatever base here failed. They built a coal generator in a rock without any coal. I know. What kind of crazy people are they? <laughs> yeah, sore back. Sore back. Sorry about that. We'll make a we'll make a bedroom today. We just gotta there's freaking so much water on this planet. It's crazy. What are you doing? Are you on break time or something? That is not supposed to be there. <laughs> You're not supposed to have that break time. What are you doing? Breaking on... On non-break time? That's a paddling. That's a... That's a violation of... Um... Your... Union... Oaths... Sir. I totally know what I'm talking about, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. This other planet just has a bunch of different... Growable stuff, different animals. That's really cool. They had a break on company time. That's right, it's not allowed. Okay, well, let's dig, 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 dig this out. I want to make sure again that we're looking okay over here. Power's working. Looks pretty good. Did they finish all this stuff yet? Not quite. They're working on it. I need to dig that out for them to be able to work on that, I think. Okay. Where else can I work here? If I, I think I can actually just really completely dig out this this biome here. So this is a this is a thing I can do um, while they're working on the other planets. Just do giant digging out projects, which I like the idea idea of. Is big, big dig projects. Well, uh, they're doing other stuff over on the other planet. One, two, three, four. There. Okay. The only thing I'm worried about is them like getting, uh, getting stuck while I'm not watching over them over here. Okay, looks like the auction mask got fixed. That's good. Auction working out over here. Yeah, you don't have hydrogen, but that's... Oh, this is about to actually fill up, looks like. Once that fills up, we'll actually start getting some extra power from that. Okay, let's go back over to the other place. Who's is on? Okay, they finished all that. And you're the one that's stuck. You're so stupid, though. You're so stupid, though. You do that, will you be able to get there? Oh my god. Will that let you out? Can you get up there? Okay, good. Alright, you're so dumb though. You're so dumb. Okay, let's uh, dig all this out now. Just a tip, folks, on one thing at a time. In the future, you'll have multiple asteroids. It's getting overwhelming easily. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a good tip. Yeah, I was... I heard somebody got trapped. I didn't realize it was on this planet, so. Okay, today the goal is we dig this stuff out so we make them an actual bedroom and outhouse room and the other thing. Uh, the Great Hall or whatever. I know, this poor guy's sleeping on a ladder. <laughs> what a rough day. Oh, man, I gotta sleep on a ladder, though. Something's entombed in the main base. Okay, that's fine. That's not an issue. I don't, what is that? Something freeze? I think that froze on top of it or something. That's fine. Okay. All right, cool. They're digging all that out. Then we're going to go across here. Dig all this out. We're going to mix our clean and dirty water. I'm going to be okay with that. 
Ah, ethanol. That, that'll be helpful. Probably back home, maybe. Probably, maybe. Okay. Oh. What's this? This is mud. Mud just fallen down, eh? Interesting. Mud is... I don't think mud exists in the other, uh, on another, uh, asteroid, if I remember correctly. Okay. There. Alright, so this should be enough room for a, uh, bathroom, a bedroom, and an eating room, uh, hall. Travaldo got hypothermia. I know, I know. It's a rough. It's a rough life as a duplicate, that's for sure. How's our food here? Oh, swamp chard. Oh, we're finding other stuff we can eat here. Interesting. Swamp chard and bog jelly. Mmm, bog jelly. Sounds delicious. All right. Uh, let's go. This way, and this way. Once we dig up to there, we should be good to um, get get these rooms built that we want to get built. We'll say these guys are really working hard. Hey, hey, pleasant chit chat. Saw a friend. Ah, friendship. Ah, friendship. Yep, just pick up some food off the ground and eat it. I'm sure that's <laughs> sanitary. Super sanitary. Is Swamp Chard anything like Swiss Chard? I... I don't know. Is that... Is that like a lettuce type thing? Bog jelly yummy. Is there some bog bread I could put my bog jelly to make a bog sandwich? All right, they're on their break and it's about <laughs> sleeping on the ladder time. All right, this is... I feel bad for this guy. Let's, uh, let's give him a cot, even though I'm going to move that literally probably tomorrow. It's a leafy green? Okay, okay. You need more fungus on my bog bread. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, I can't wait to have some of that. Oh. Man, there's just mud everywhere. Okay. All right. Uh, we want to, once we get this all mined out, Uh, I'm gonna get the next print then I'm gonna deconstruct this because I'm gonna want to move it up there after I get some actual rooms set up down here Yeah, we got polluted oxygen everywhere. I wonder if I can this is the supply teleporter input. Where's the output? Aha, we have an oil biome crude oil. That's what we're gonna need Because I think if I try to send stuff from my other planet, it's gonna come through wherever the output is Okay, what is this? Um, yeah, I don't think I want a third one. Right? Although operating digging is pretty good, but he can't build. Yeah, I think we just take some gold here. And actually, should I just take the gold? Eh, we'll, we'll take the gold here. I don't know if there's gold on this planet. And I'm going to deconstruct this thing. Oh, can I do? Can I not deconstruct the minipod? Is it stuck here forever? Cancel activation. How do I... Wow, is it stuck here forever? Or can I deconstruct this? If I deactivate it, can I deconstruct it? 
Cancel activation. Okay, I can't do that. Well then, uh, I guess it's going to live there forever. Cool. Totally did that on purpose. I guess uh, that's all right. I can build... Ugh, I'm not really super psyched about that, actually, because that kind of messes up my plans for how I wanted to build around here. All right. Um, let's have our rooms be... How do I want to do this? This will be our room right here. We had auto repairs, so perhaps there's a way to destroy or remove them. <sighs> yeah, I don't see a way... Spect. Okay. It's weird. It's like, it looks like you can cancel it, but maybe you have to have a, a certain skill for your duplicates to be able to do that. Maybe that's what's wrong. I'm going to build like that. We may need that sedimentary rock. All right, so we'll make a bedroom and a... How do I want to do this? Do I want to... Bedroom, bathroom, and eating place. I want... I think I want the bathroom leading to the... If I can plan this out better. Bathroom leading to the eating place and then down to where they live, maybe. Maybe bathroom first and they have to wash their hands to exit to the eating place. And then we go down to where they sleep. Something like that. What would disabling do? Well, I just want to deconstruct it so I can reconstruct it back up here. It's, I just want to move it. I like to move it, move it. That's what I want to do. Move it, move it. All right, we're gonna. You guys are gonna have a much better place to live and eat and sleep soon. I promise. Promise. Although I make no promises, even though I just said I promise. Okay, so we'll have a door. Right there. Did I open the pod yet? Oh yeah, I've I've printed out a couple things from it. I one of these duplicates, uh Jean. Jean-Luc Picard here was printed right at that place. And we could open this thing, but if you defrost a friend, we could get some horrible, horrible duplicates. So that's why I haven't done that yet. All right, so this is going to be bathroom. So since I don't have power, I can't set up flowing water yet. So what we're going to do is a wash basin. Um, three outhouses. And then... Two wash basins going up that way. Uh, is that what I want to do? No. We're going to do three... Three wash basins here. And... Uh, outhouse here. And you're going to only leave to the right. This gonna work. Can they just go out after using the restroom to the left if I do it this way? Evolve your bad dupe into a form that does not consume oxygen or food. You mean kill them? <laughs> uh, maybe I don't like this. Uh, I'm not sure I like this. I can lock the door. Yes, okay, so they're only allowed in, they're not allowed out. That's what it is. There we go. So, they can go in, but they can't go out. But, I need to make sure they can actually go get up and down this place now. So, what if I have them go down, and then food, and then living quarters? And then like that. So, 
So how big of a room is a uh, barracks? Barracks, max size 64. So 64 divided by was, uh, so that'd be this size, right? 16 times four, 64. So we'd want to do something like Uh, where is 64 from here? Okay, so if I did something like... Doors right here. Auto save. Come on, game. There. Alright, so we're 64. Right there, so door lined up with that door. Okay. Someone submitted a challenge run to Hollow that was take the shortest path to the exit each sector. He won with Mantis B, B and even skipped fights in sector eight. The score was like 1800. Wow, that's like golf score run right there. That's cool. We don't have water. Okay, we need water for that. Now the mixed water kind of sucks. What will that get access to? Dirty water or clean water? How can I get access to clean water? Hmm. Can I mop up dirty water? Is it too much? Yeah, it's too much. Oh, now all my mixing of water is coming back to bite me. All right, I think I can get access to clean just this clean water right here. Let's do that. I didn't think about water usage there. And furniture. Start with three beds. Main base has food issues. Oh, uh, has 4,000 barbecue. I don't think it does. It's not doing amazing. They're still having to eat some lice loaf occasionally, but I think we're actually fine. I think we're actually fine. There's some things drowning. We're about to get some meat from that. Yeah, meat from that. I'm gonna turn that into barbecue. That's six. Let's make um make this seven so they'll make that before they make other stuff roast grub fruit nuts slow roasted spindly grub fruits interesting that's if we uh, send stuff from the other place i guess and uh we're about to start this is good having this uh these guys in here means that we're starting to have more critters than can fit in our ranches which those will be able to kill off for extra meat as well. Although it might actually mean I can make even another ranch, which I might want to do. Maybe I want to change over this mealwood just to another ranch. Although I feel like it's a little dangerous to get rid of my lice loaf stuff. Um, but I think... Hmm, is only more CPU intensive with all the additional asteroids now? More? I don't know. I honestly don't know if it's more intensive or not. Okay, I kind of need to clear out some stuff. If I could... We have this algae biome. Um, do I have room? Oh, where did all this natural gas go? <laughs> the natural gas guys are turned on and I... I have it going there. Oh God, that was a mistake. That's, I forgot to change that. And there's probably some over here too, isn't there? Yeah, I need to uh, change, uh, build up a, a stockpile, you're right. All right, well, well, we gotta just pump this natural gas back out. So we gotta fix this. 
So it's fine, it's fine. All we need is a gas pump and a gas filter. So gas pump. Uh, gas filter. We're gonna filter out the, the uh, other gas and then the other stuff. Honestly, uh, might be over. I need a I need a high pressure gas vent. I really need to be able to make plastic, but I still can't do that. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that. Is this gonna work? I think this will work. I need to power that guy. Now we need to dupe with a match. <laughs> Nobody smoke. <laughs> a freak gasoline fight accident could happen to anybody. Who needs duplicates when you have past Rand? Yeah, that's right. Okay, while they're building that, let me make sure these guys are doing stuff. Uh, they built this out, so what I need is plumbing, your pub, there's for clean water for that stuff. Okay. Um, so they now have beds. We can deconstruct this bed, deconstruct this bed, and deconstruct this outhouse. Okay, and there's a nest on the ground here, probably because they peed there. They still have dual core, two gigahertz as a minimum CPU, so you guess it's still fine. Yeah, I, I don't know that they've changed much in the way of system requirements for the game. Okay, go back over here, see if they're getting this built. Okay, so the filter we want natural gas to go through the yellow right is that correct yes and currently these are idle because they're stopped by the smart battery so apparently we don't have enough we're not using enough power right now but what i do want is i want natural gas used before these so that means I need the natural gas battery to turn on earlier than the coal battery turns on. Is that correct? This is the 30 to 80. So yes, the low threshold needs to be lower. It uh, needs to be higher, I think. I think the way this is set up, this will shut. This will turn on before that turns on, right? Yes, these are turning on and those are not turning on, good. Is that other colony, there, colony teleported? Yes, we teleported over there. Is that an unreachable build? It is. Okay, they should be able to reach that now. Is that an unreachable build? No, that works. Well, good thing uh, this this uh, gas vent I put wasn't right by their sleeping quarters, and it's like, all right, gas leak, nobody mind that. Fine. All right, let's see if this is going to work here. Ventilation. Oh, okay, carbon dioxide should get through. Perfect. Beautiful. And I actually want to use up this stuff first, so how do I prioritize... I want to prioritize this stuff. I think there's a way to do that with a bridge. A little bit of storage for the gas. Um, problem with storage is it's like, gas storage is really big, isn't it? This giant thing. Where could I fit this? I guess I could fit one like right here. Send it from the main pipe to the bottom. So maybe if I send this to here, so it has to fill that up first, maybe. If I go like this, and then to this, I think there's a way I could use a, whatchamacallit, uh, 
gas bridge to set priority so it's this stuff before this stuff. I think that'll work. There's a stopgap measure to fix the issue that Passran did. Passran, what's wrong with you? You're always doing stupid stuff. Sorry. Try my hardest. You're not trying hard enough. Keep waiting for my barbecue to actually go up, and it's uh, just not going up yet. <laughs> it's just not going up as much as I need it to go. Come on, build this thing. Nine. Trying is a first step towards failure. <laughs> You're a disappointment, past Rand. Father, um, current Rand is disappointed in you. Learn to be less of a failure, sir. Invalid building location. That's why you're not building it. Because I need a tile right there, probably. We got our freaking gas leak going on. There it is. There it is. Okay. So as soon as that's built, I'm going to cut off this pipe right here. Go, go. Build it, you slow, slow, slow builder. There it is. We do that. All right, so what I want to do is I want to prioritize this stuff. So... I believe if I were to do a bridge here, if I cut this off, I think it prioritizes the bridge. I think it prioritizes the bridge before this other stuff. So I think doing it this way should prioritize what's coming through here first, and then this stuff coming in through here will not go unless it's empty. Let's see if I'm right about that. This should not move while this can still move, if I'm not mistaken. I think I have it backwards, actually. It looks like it's prioritizing this. So maybe I need to move this all over one space. It's probably what I need to do. To prior to because if this is moving when this is not moving then it's backwards from what I wanted to do I always get gas bridge priority messed up yeah it's doing opposite what I want to do okay uh no disconnect that so now when this uses stuff I should see this move so I think I know how I need to set this up I need to um, I need to deconstruct that yeah yeah, now it's moving. Let me let this pipe clear out first. If I move it left one, that'll be perfect what I need it to do. I want this pipe to clear out first. Well, this will still let me do it. Where's the uh, bridge to construct it? What we're going to do is we're going to do a bridge right there. This pipe's going to go to the left there. That will go first, and then we have this guy. Go up here. And that should work. I believe that will do what I want it to do. Let's test it to make sure. Because the main goal of this is to clean out all this freaking natural gas that I should not have done. Uh, should not have had there. Okay, so that's going. Um, I need to disconnect this bridge right here, though. That one. There we go. Now, it should prioritize this guy. Once this bridge is built, anytime this is empty, that'll let this stuff through. Let's see if that's going to be correct. I should see this stuff move right here, but this stuff not move whenever this turns on. Does this pipe cutting you did for that gas not mess up any other pipes? Not when it's filtered correctly, so it shouldn't. If I check power lines... Power lines are all still connected. There's 
This tool filter, do you see right here? It says power wires, one run under power when I'm on plumbing. When I'm on plumbing, it goes to liquid. If I click on a pipe, and then that, it's on liquid. So it kind of prioritize it correctly there. <clears throat> no, they're both going at the same time, but I think, I just want to make sure this is right. Okay, okay here. Barely breathable. I need to get some O2 going here. Uh, so do I have algae on this place? No algae. How do I make how do I make oxygen here? Polluted dirt and depleted oxygen. Rust deoxidizer. That takes power. <sighs> Is there any algae in this place? Yeah, ga natural gas goes below O2. How do I feel about the game with the DLC so far committed when I played without the DLC? I like it. It feels like the same game, just with more stuff. So, I like it. How do I get O2 over here? Um, I feel like I need power so I can run a oxygen diffuser. How's a rusty oxidizer work? Makes chlorine. Oxygen this uses algae. Can I run away? I actually can send one person away. Right here. I can send somebody away. Uh, but there is a cooldown on it. So maybe I want to send one person back. I don't know. I'd like I'd like to keep working on this place. I just need to figure out how to get oxygen here. There is rust, so I could run rust deoxidizer on this place. But I need power. And in order to get power, I need what? What can I what can I run power-wise here? What do I mean water above? There's plenty of water, but I can't make an I, I don't have power to run a to make another uh I don't have a lot of resources that I used to make the SPOM, the self-powered auction maker, on this planet. I just don't have the resources. I don't have power. Um, petroleum generator. If I get down to the oil, how does petroleum generator work again? Converts ethanol. Uh, so there is some ethanol here. I could turn the ethanol, ethanol into power. I kind of don't want to use the ethanol for that. So I, don't, I think it's hard to make ethanol. Oil, you can make from the oil things here. So I kind of want to do petroleum. Uh, how do I convert petroleum into refiner, right? Oh, ethanol distiller. Oh, that needs lumber. Oil refinery. Crude oil into petroleum and natural gas. This is probably what we need to do. We probably need to refine oil and then run a petroleum generator. Which needs water, right? I feel like one of these needs water. Or maybe it's the, um, the thing that you put on that needs water. Not viable to make an O2 power setup like in the main base. Um... I don't know that I have enough resources for that, right? Like, because I need, um... I did get some gold amalgam. Maybe I can manual generate or start a spawn. Can I make the half... I only need a very small one, actually, here. So I don't need quite as big of the one we had before. What's a smaller spawn I could make? I feel like there are some other smaller ones that we could maybe do. Um, although I, I will say kind of the simplest one seems to be this one that I made earlier. Maybe I do have enough resources to just make this. Do I have enough stuff for automation wire? Maybe I can just make this. Main issue is water. 
We don't have a renewable source of water here yet. We have just a crap ton of water. So we could maybe do a filtering system of the water and make the spawn from that. Okay, maybe I'll try to do that. Uh, how? Where can I build that? Maybe I can dig into here and do that. Okay. It is easy to get very um, sidetracked, like FRD dot said, and that's kind of what's happening right now. I'm trying to put out fires in my other base and this base at the same time. So I think I'm going to dig out this, try to make the same spawn we made right here. Yeah, water from this melting biome, that's true. Got fossil and stuff. We have stuff we need for steel in this biome, so there's a lot of stuff we want to get from here. It's breathable. I feel like we have some time, and especially if they give us like oxalite or something. Yeah, let's just take that. Definitely don't want another duplicate over here right now. A game where you can call any, you can die in any given moment, and now you have two. What could go wrong? <laughs> Yeah, and I keep wanting to check and make sure we're okay on this side. Because my barbecue, my food is just not going up as quickly as I feel like it should be. I think I have a couple of bottomless pit stomachs in, uh, in here. So, But I'm just going to let it go. They're not dying, so it's fine. So yeah, actually, I'm going to drain all this water down to the bottom of here. That's where we're going to pump our water into a spawn that we'll make right here. That's the plan. Drain all this water down here. Hey, what's up, Foyer Majir? How are you doing? Same printer as the main? Yeah, it's not It's not two separate printers. It's one printer that you can choose where it comes, where the output comes, here or the other place. No, I don't want to plug them in. Even though I have better power, plugging in incubators makes them very power hungry. I'm purposefully not plugging them in. They they just they just chew through power. Maybe needs to make, make another Oni ship one day. Oh, I would absolutely love to play another one of your Oni ships. Those are some of my favorite ships that I've ever played. Your Oni ships were super cool. Probably not 10 ships like last time. Yeah, that was a lot of work. <laughs> you made a lot of ships last time, that's for sure. All right. No pressure or anything, but the longer it takes you build this, the longer it is until you get breathable air again, people. So, uh, you know, get to work. Is there any way I can send... Here's the Here's the output. Maybe I can send some algae over. If I dig to here and get some algae... I can at least run a couple things. Let's do that. Let's actually do that. Let's um Um actually what I can do is I want to dig downwards here. that this stuff creates a little pool there and doesn't leak into there, hopefully. Could temporarily power up the incubators? It would drain more of that natural gas away inside my base. I could do that. I kind of don't want to, though. I, I don't want to do anything too drastic over on this side. It's like this guy. The stone hatch. We're going to have extras here, and we're going to turn them into food. As these extra ones come out, we're going to turn them into food. Right, that turns them into meat, right? Yeah, they're meat. Good. Should be able to make barbecue from that meat we just made. Very good. Cool. You might made a, wait a while. Might wait a while. Maybe eventually buy it on sale when you're in the mood to play on it. Yeah, it's a good idea. 
Man, we gotta dig through so much of this frickin' abyssalite, which takes forever. We got no really good gas masks over here. I wonder if I can skill you up. How are your skills here, Devin Jean? I can at least give you hard digging, right? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Yeah, what I'm going to plan on doing is actually send them some algae. So if I'm going to send them algae, where's the output? Or the input on this side? Input. Okay. Check germs here. Okay. So it looks like I should be able to get access to this. And throw in some algae uh, for them to do their thing. Let me look power wise. How are we looking over here? Oh, uh, maybe I do want to. Maybe I do want to activate a couple of these guys. Problem is, I have to like manually. Um. manually kill the extra ones or make another ranch which all that takes time and i really want to focus on what's going on over here i want to focus on making sure this doesn't die over here digging the hole is such a terrible task most of the things you make them do in this game are pretty horrible tasks yeah <laughs> like they can't breathe it's so hard to breathe all the time oh my god is there any oxalite I can free up anywhere to give them some burst of oxygen? I don't see any. Even building this bomb over here is probably going to take forever. I hope I just have all the resources to do it. Natural gas generator. No, hydrogen generator. Yeah, we have the gold amalgam. Uh, you know what? I cannot make the smart battery unless I get some refined metal. Okay, well, we can send we can send a few things over. We can send some refined metal, some algae to hold them over. That's what, we're, well, that's what we'll do. Let me actually raise the priority on these digging projects right here. That way I can get access to this stuff. Uh, I still haven't made a place for them to eat. Uh, you know what? This is going to be your room to eat. I'm just going to put another uh, mess table in here. That's just your, that's your eating room, even though it's not a great hall or anything. Okay. Keep wanting to check all this, make sure this is looking okay. Almost seems like we do need to use a little bit more power. Okay, alright. Well, I hemmed and hawed about it, but let's do it. Let's turn on a couple of these guys. Attack that guy. Uh, and we're going to put in a heavy watt wire. Oh, crap. I can't do it that way. I need to do a bridge thingy. Ah, oh, so annoying with wi those wires. Uh, okay. Just need to get rid of this door, actually. And it'll be fine. Because this is not an actual room. Okay, I can't put that by there. Okay. And here we go. We're going to get... We're going to power... We'll power three of these guys. There. 
Why is there so much natural gas leak in the air? That's a problem from earlier. I fixed it, but it's going to take a while to clean it up. Um, what happens was this, when this thing turned off, there was some carbon dioxide in there and I wanted to clear it out. So I vacuumed it out over here at this gas vent and I forgot to unplug that gas vent. So it just spewed a bunch of natural gas once there's turned back on. I have a gas pump with a filter to fix it, but it's going to take a while because it was a lot of natural gas that uh, got thrown in there. So it was a mistake by me. There, that'll leak that into there, which is fine. And this will give us access to be able to receive stuff from the other planet. And what I want to get is algae, to at least get some algae, to, uh, algae terrariums to have some form of oxygen generation. Pass Rand was super flatulent. That's, that's the really what it was, yes. There. And on the other planet, have I gotten access to this now? I have. So we need to activate this teleporter. And we're going to need to power it. How much power? This doesn't take that much power, right? All I need to do is chuck in what I want to send over, which I think means I need a conveyor. Can you do manual loading on this? Allow manual use. There it is. So I will just need to power that. So I will do this guy right here. Here we go. That will allow that. And then it'll be dumped on the ground here once we uh, get this enabled. Can I send over the Oxifern? Um... Yes, but the oxifern won't be able to be wild planted like it was over there because I don't have a pip over here. So they'd have to manually supply it. And I don't know if I want to do that. Oxiferns aren't nearly as effective when they're manually planted, right? You have to give them fertilizer, I think. Are Twitch Prime sub renewals not tracked? I think so. Uh, somebody earlier did their prime for two months. It might just be delayed. If you just did it, sometimes there's a delay on it. Cancel that. I don't want to leak this ethanol. Okay. Right, we're definitely using our power more now that we've plugged those guys in, it looks like. All right, so the plan would be first to deliver some algae so I can run some algae diffuser things. What are they called? Algae terrariums. And then I'm going to need to send over some metal. God damn it, this keeps overflowing. What is this overflowing? Did somebody pee again? Stop peeing everywhere. Damn dupes, they're just peeing everywhere. Where you guys just pee all over the floor. Too much liquid. God, I can't even fix this right now. Uh, do I have to really? Do I really have to pump this out? There it is. How much pee can this tank hold? Not, not enough. Apparently, <laughs> it needs 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 more pee storage. Maybe it froze. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe the water's freezing and it's losing space in here. All right, what's in the printable thing? Anything I want for either place? Oh, a slickster in this place would be amazing. The problem is it would start dropping oil. But if I could just put that slickster somewhere here, that would be great. Uh, slicksters want to eat carbon dioxide. Free oil. So if I make a little drop-off point for
Uh, carbon dioxide. There's a carbon dioxide pit right here. If I dig this out. And make a quick drop off for the slickster. I want to get that. I say it's a problem just because I, I don't want to drop a bunch of oil real quick in in to any of my uh, liquid stuff like they they keep doing when they pee on their on the crap when they pee on crap we're gonna make this a uh, critter drop off right there we're gonna change that to slickster nine. Make that right now. Because I don't what I don't want it to do is immediately drop oil into my like my water supply or something. Your largest problem in this game is always heat management. That can be a challenging thing, that's for sure. Unreachable dig. Why the hell is that unreachable? It's not unreachable. You're, you're lying. You're lying to me is why. I'm going to make this elixir and hopefully it won't immediately start peeing oil on the ground. Slickster. Oh, I can't do it until it's not a larva? Can you not tame babies? Oh god, okay, well then let me do this at least. Let me go tile here, tile here, so it won't leak. We can clean it up as it shows up, I guess. Go over here while they're working on this. Okay, that's available. Let me activate that. Colony lacks field research. Oh god, so I need to send over the person with field research if neither of them could do that. Yeah, I need two skills for that. Jean could do it with one more skill point. Or I send over my person right now. Has this recharged? Let me check. Has this recharged? This has recharged. All right, I'm going to send the field researcher over there just to activate that and then immediately send them back over. So who is my who is my field researcher? Ada, she's got it. So does Nails. Who's got better morale? Nails does. Okay, so Nails, we're going to send you over there real quick. Quick trip, I promise, Nails. Quick, quick trip. Nine. Slickster, Slickster Larva. And where'd this lookster go? Right there. No, I can't. Can't do that. He promised. This is not an airlock, I promise. I promise I'm not sending you two to airlock, I promise. I hope he's got another gas mask, but that's fine. The lever suit. Alright, there he is. It's time, Nails, it's time. It's gonna be a fun adventure. Such a fun adventure. All right. You should immediately go over there and do this. Major skin irritation, I know. You had to dive through uh, stuff. Ethanol, it's a bad, it's a rough life. Okay, beautiful. This is now, this works. So now I can send stuff over here. But what I now need to do is get you over here and there's water all in this the way. Uh, is all this mixed water going to mess us up? Fine, it's fine. Let's drain this out. Priority 9 so I can get her back over there because I don't want her eating up all the food over here. There's not that much food over here. 
Not much food or oxygen. But now I should be able to send over algae. Let me actually see if I can do that. Can I send over... What is that called? Um, organic algae. I guess I can't choose how much I put there, but let me put nine. I'm going to just let them throw in some algae here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let a couple things go. Okay, that should be plenty. That should be plenty. And now, if I put in a couple of algae terrariums, randomly around the place there's water all over the ground there damn it that was a much bigger flood than i was expecting okay but now i can assign that person assign her to go back although i want her to help clean this up real quick it's kind of a mess it's kind of a mess look at this mess you've made i could send bottled water oh okay why would I want to just send water, though? I have lots of water over here. I don't think water is our issue. I got all this junk. Alright, so we're cleaning all this up. A lot of filtering I need to do. Yeah, it's true. But if I'm going to be getting power from... What what did I want to do? I wanted to set up a self-powered auction maker. Which I will probably jumpstart with just a manual generator. Which I can just use manual generators for starting up power if we need to. Or I could just send up a bunch of coal to get the coal generator. That might be what I really need to do, honestly. Bottle up O2, that's true too. We could do that. Alright, it's time for my last break. And... I don't honestly don't want to leave this alone too much. So um, what I'm going to do is actually send over a little bit of coal. This will give us a little power. Okay, is this is this lagging? What's happening? Why why am I in the black right now? What's happening? I can't see anything. Follow cam. Okay, that was broken. I have no idea where that took me. Alright, let's send a little bit of coal. Consumable ore. Coal. Let me do this real fast, then I'm going to take a break. Because then we will have um, at least a little bit of source of power to get some things kick-started. Yeah, maybe it sent me to the edge of the map or something. Okay, 414 kilograms. Let's get at least a couple tons here. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to play this on slow. Y'all can enjoy watching them deliver some coal by the time we come back. Hopefully, that'll be enough to at least get a little bit of power going. But really quickly, my friends, I'm going to set up stretch. Use the restroom. Take my final break of the day. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying. Quick six seconds, set up stretch break. We come back. We will hopefully still have living duplicates on the other side of the map. On the other map. Y'all rock. Be back in a bit, my friends. <laughs> 